Hi, let's talk about limits. In calculus, without the limit concept, uh, pretty much there is no calculus. Calculus starts with the limit concept, and we uh, move the secant slowly to make it a tangent by having delta x between the two points, the distinct points, approaches zero. So eventually we have a, an instantaneous slope at a single point. That delta x usually is referred to a difference which is called small h. We want the delta x or h approaches zero. And we're going to be talking about the difference of two squares to help understand this example and the conjugates. To evaluate the limit or state that it does not exist, the limit of the square root of 9 plus h minus 3 divided by h as h approaches 0, we need some ideas as introduction to start. The difference of two squares will be defined as follows. a square minus b square equals a minus b times a plus b. And the conjugate of a minus b is a plus b. We can also say that a plus b is the conjugate of a minus b. In other words, the two binomials are conjugates of each other. These two binomials, this right here and this right here, are conjugates of each other. Now, for the limit that is shown on the screen, we're questioning if it does exist. The conjugate of square root of 9 plus h in red minus 3 in blue will be the same except minus changes to plus. As you could see, I use colors to help you stay focused and I end up typing everything instead of writing everything on the whiteboard as I go and record to save you some time. Uh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, you will notice that I try my best to reduce the time of recording and deliver the content. So let's move on. So in this case, looking at a minus b times a plus b, that will be my a, as you can see I'm referring to this right here, and b will be the 3 up here. So it's like a minus b and a plus b. Once you identify A and B, we could apply the difference between two squares formula from the left, A minus B times A plus B, will simplify to A square minus B square. We need that as we go. Just want to make sure that we do have enough ideas before we start the steps. Here are the steps. And this is what I mean by reducing the time of recording. Imagine if I write everything as I'm recording on the whiteboard. How long would it take? At least twice the time that I'm recording now. So on the left, I have limit square root of 9 plus h minus 3 divided by h as h approaches 0. We're going to bring the conjugate to the numerator. As you could see, this is a conjugate. We discussed that just a minute ago, and that's the conjugate. The conjugate of the a minus b down here is a plus b. So we are bringing the conjugate. Of course, we have to divide the fraction to one bottom side to keep it equivalent. Combining the fractions, multiplying across the numerators and the denominators, we will end up with the following. But the left-hand side right here, or the top side, is the left-hand side of this formula. So by connecting this to this, we could move on to the right hand side, which is a square minus b square, knowing, identifying what's a and what's b. So that's my a square minus b square, as you could see. That's a square minus b square right here. Well, I do have a square and a square root, so that's going to cancel. 
and 3 squared will give me 9. So I end up with 9 plus h in red minus the 3 square is 9. Now I could cancel 9 or minus 9 with plus 9, as you could see. And that will give me h on top. And that's the game. The idea is always you need this down here to cancel. So once you have it canceled, you could apply the limit. That's pretty much what we need to focus on. At first, we could not apply h equals 0 because we're going to be dividing by 0 and that's not allowed. Now, I could cancel this with this and becomes the desired form to apply the limit as h approaches 0. Now I could apply it and that will go to 0 as you could see right here. There is no limit as you could see right on the left because I'm applying the limit instead of h I'm writing 0 because I could write 0. It's not gonna give me a denominator that is equal to 0. Simplifying this, I will have 1 over square root of 9 plus 3. That's 1 over 3 plus 3, which is 1 over 6. As you could see, it takes a lot of time of record, uh, writing, preparing, but less time for the recording. Thank you, and I have more coming soon. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.